August 19th, 11.20 a.m. Though it'll probably be later before I actually get this video up. I'm going to be out in the park for a little while. Didn't have an official go on coming out, but actually uh, a couple months ago I had a... I just walked up on it without even realizing it. Shit. Didn't even have an official goal without uh, tongue and brain would work together. My tongue, my mouth. God damn it. My brain usually goes faster than my tongue half the time, but I was like, well, what's a goal we can make out besides just getting out of the apartment today? And I remember that there's a family cemetery, like I said, I just walked up on it, forgetting how close it was, that I'd come across before, and I was like, well, if I can get it, find it again, I'll make a little video about it. Found it, so I'll, I'm going to take some pictures and video, and I'll put it all together for you. This sign here, it talks about it a little bit. Just see that right there. Mildewy as hell. A lot of black mold grown into it. I might bring some, uh, mean green out here one day and clean this thing off let it soak for a little bit and clean it off so people can actually read it there's a sign here talking about it and the cemetery is over here i had made a bad quality video before and put it on facebook but maybe this one will be a little better also fuck facebook i've spent a lot less time on there over the past couple of months than I ever have in my life, so. Got a couple pillar graves here. Not exactly sure who they're dedicated to, but there are probably some kids in this family. I probably dedicated to them. They got these nice little this little setup going all the way around them on the corners at the bottom. Apparently, there used to be a homestead where this family lived. I'll update you on the members of the family according to that sign here in a little bit. This little fence going around. It's like half of a fence. I'm not going to disturb those vines. The other side was the parents. This side was the uh, two kids who had lived here. From what I remember here from coming here before, I was able to find out, partially due to that sign, was that the homestead that was originally here uh, had burnt down and the whole family apparently had died in a fire. Both of the kids here were 15 years old whenever they died. So the other side would have been the parents. There's a little deer trail going right here. Goes up through that way. I'm kind of half tempted. Actually, there's a fence, wire fence, over there. You can kind of see it. And this deer trail goes up along the edge of that fence. So I had actually planned before, when I first came across this place a couple months ago or so, to um, look more into this um, family the Muse family see what I could find if anything but um and then life caught up with me and honestly a little bit of laziness and I never did get around to doing that but I may do a uh, another little documentary about that about what I find out even if it's not really too fancy of a documentary but Let's see here I'm gonna read off of here and then I'll take a picture of it and so you can look at it yourself. 
Um, Muse, uh, Muse Cemetery is located near the ha a housing unit that was part of the former Seward Air Force Base. A large home, presumably that of the Muse family, once stood 250 feet north of the cemetery before burning down in 1955. Though the members of this family, they died in like the mid to late 1800s. The cemetery consists of one square monument listing six Muse family members ranging from age 51 to 15 years. William Muse, 45, James Muse, 15, and Charles Muse, also 15, all died within one year of one another from 1947 to 1949. Historians believe there are unmarked graves in the cemetery due to the position of trees and rocks around the cemetery's old border as well as records that indicate five other Muse family members that were buried here. So there might be more than just five people that are listed on that stone that are over here. Who knows? Like I said, I might come uh, out here again and clean off that sign, get some mean green. You can buy that shit at Dollar General. So the other end, opposite of where I entered, of this paved path in the park, comes out in a residential neighborhood. I don't really feel like passing through that, so I'm going to go back the other way. I might come through here at some point in the future, but I'm going to go back the other way. Because I have a couple other spots I want to film for right now anyway. But this is interesting.